This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you with a look at the Lotus Jelly Slice mod. Sent them over free for the purposes of this review by thecloudyvapor.com. So come on in here, let's take a look at this thing. The Jelly Slice mod was sent on over free for the purposes of this review by thecloudyvapor.com. Back of the box gives you a bit of information about the product. It goes from 1 to 80 watts. It goes up to 8 volts. The 2600 Ma battery, which I'm pretty impressed with based on the size of the mod, which you'll see in a moment. Fire from 0.1 ohms to 0.3 ohms. It has an ohm reader built in. The usual spec. It's micro USB charging, no removable batteries here. And great protection features as you'd expect in a regulated mod. You've got over discharge protection, over charge protection, short circuit protection, all the good stuff. Inside the box, you've got your charger, your charging cable, and your box mod, your jelly slice, all in their own nice, neat compartment just like this. It's well packaged. So in addition to the mod, the charging cable, the charger, you also get a decent manual, easy to follow, and you get a black silicone sleeve as well. What stands out about this mod for me is its size. It's a very, very thin mod. I like the name Jelly Slice. It's almost as if they sliced a mod in half and then built the 510 you know, around it just so that you know, a regular 22 millimeter atomizer would sit on it properly. I mean, it is like a cross section of a mod almost. It's very, very slim. The feel on this thing, it's like, it feels like a high end cigar lighter. If you ever held like a high end cigar lighter, my dad is really into cigars, still is. I'm trying to get him onto the vape, but he likes his cigars anyway. It feels like a high-end cigar lighter. Like if you ever held like a Prometheus kind of cigar lighter, something like that, that's what this feels like. It's that quality. It's that sort of shape and size in the hand. It feels really, really nice in the hand. Really nice. Top and bottom, the metal trim is shiny, shiny, shiny fingerprint, magnety, but it just feels like quality. It feels like a very well-made box. It's got spring-loaded 510. Everything here sits down nice and flush. I'm, I'm able to use it with pretty much everything. Now, you know, the way that it's so thin, I don't know how well you can fit you know, larger atomizers on here or larger tanks. Probably the smaller, the better, just because it's, it would be top-heavy, you know, and it might topple over. USB charging over here on the side. The buttons are super, super clicky. They are perhaps the clickiest buttons that I have ever, ever used on a box mod. These are loud, loud buttons, very loud. Turn it off, it says bye-bye, which is cute. And when it's done charging, by the way, it'll also say I am full. <laughs> it's cute, it is. I mean, I like, a, like a, I like a little bit of humor in my menu systems, you know? You know, increase and decrease in 0.5 watt increments, holding down the up button or the down button, it'll fly by much more quickly. And you can flip from wattage mode into voltage mode by holding the power button and the up button at the same time. Holding down the power button and the down button at the same time for three seconds, will flip it on into a temp control mode. In temp mode, you can go from 200 degrees to 600 degrees in 10 degree increments. You can also lock the mod without turning it off by holding the up button and the down button together. The silicone sleeve has a really nice feel to it. On one side, you've got the Portuguese Man of War. On the other side, you've got Lotus with the Lotus Flower. It's raised up around the buttons. It's got a cutout for the sleeve. It's got a flap, a really nice flap for the uh, micro USB charger. It actually goes, has a section that actually plugs into the micro USB charger, sort of like a dust protection kind of thing. I really like that. It's probably one of the better silicone sleeves that I've seen on the market for a device in general. I like that it preserves the aesthetic. I like that it has a bit of a dust protection for the micro USB. I like that, you know, it's got a really nice feel to it. You know, it doesn't feel 
dusty like silicone sometimes can or way too plasticky. It's almost leathery in texture. You know, it's silicone. It's not leather. Don't get me wrong, but it, it's got a nice feel to it. Really nice feel. Cloudyvapor.com was kind enough to also send on over this red silicone sleeve along with it. And when you buy the red silicone sleeve, you also get a matching drip tip. And it comes in a bunch of different colors too. I gotta say, I really like this mod. Um, I love the size of it. I love the feel of it. I really love how small it is, how compact it is. I mean, this thing disappears in your pocket. It just feels really comfortable in the hand. Anyway. I'll see you guys up top side. We'll vape on it a bit. We'll talk about it. So YouTube, that was the jelly slice from Lotus. Anyway, we've got it turned up to 80 watts. I've got the Aeronauts sitting on top, vaping on one of my all time favorite juices, Bound by the Crown from King's Crown. Love this juice, love this RDA. And it's a great mod too. It's a good vape. I've got it turned up to 80 watts and it feels like a good 80 watts. I've basically tried this same RDA with this same build and a bunch of different mods. Feels like the same hit every single time. It's perfect. Mm. What I love about this device is just how slim and sleek it is and the way it feels in the hand. It feels like a high-end cigar lighter. Now, I'm not a cigar smoker. My dad's a cigar smoker. But growing up, I always used to play with his lighters. Because <laughs> he always had the coolest lighters for some reason. They were like these green flame, blue flame, yellow flame, white flame lighters. They did all these different features and settings. And you fill them with butane. Anyway, I'm reminiscing too much. And it's about cigar lighters, which probably isn't the best thing for a vape channel. Anyway, <laughs> but that's what it feels like. It feels like a high-end cigar lighter, and I mean that in the best way possible. Because high-end cigar lighters, they feel wonderful in the hand, and this feels wonderful in the hand. The concern comes from, you know, it being so slim. I mean, it's slimmer than the tw the 22 millimeter 510 connection. It's slimmer than that. So. When it comes to putting, you know, top heavy atomizers at the top of it, you know, how does it work? How does it stand? Well, it does. It works. Um, if you put it down, it might wobble for a second or two like that, but it'll more or less stay put, you know, unless I come in and you know, shake the table or something, you know, wobble a little bit, but it stays up. That's really my main concern with it, just whether or not it can you know, withstand, you know, what it can withstand it before it topples over. And some people might not even matter. Some people might just lay it on the side, whatever. With RDAs, whatever, you know, you kind of want to be able to stand it up without it toppling. But mm, I don't know if most people are going to use this device with an RDA or if most people would use it more with a tank. It's a great mod, I gotta say. I really enjoy using it. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. It's a great device. And it just fits perfectly in like a pants pocket, you know? Just, that's it. It just glides on, on in there. Any pocket. It goes in any pocket without a problem whatsoever. It's slim and it's sexy. And I love the way that this looks. I love the way that it feels. Oh, and did I mention clickiness? Yeah, super clicky, super clicky. And I like the way it round robins too. Right now it's at, you know, one watt. Hit the down button again, it goes to 80. Hit it up, one watt. I like the way it round robins like that. It makes it easy to navigate. Um, right now I ended into a temp mode. And we're out of temp mode, just like that. Once you understand the menu system, it's pretty easy to navigate too. The sleeves are kind of a challenge to get on the first time, but it gets easier. And the silicone they use is nice. Um, I like the feel of the silicone they use. It doesn't feel, sometimes silicone kind of can have like a chalkiness to it or 
it just can feel like a powdery sort of rubber. This doesn't feel that way. It feels almost leathery. It's nice. It's a nice feel to the silicone. It's got a nice cutout for the display. I love that it has like a little insert. You know, it's got a little piece of rubber sticking out there that actually plugs into the micro USB. And that provides you some dust proofing, which is nice. It feels great. Yeah, great mod, great mod. So here we are on the cloudyvapor.com. Let's see what this device is going for. We're going to hit devices. Head on down to Jelly Slice. There it is. Boom. $89.95 for this device. Um, yeah, I'd say based upon, you know, just the styling of it, the aesthetic, the skinniness of the device, you know, it's got something unique, something different that a lot of devices do not have. It comes with decently packaged, I'd say based on the quality of it. Yeah, I'd pay that for this device, honestly. If I was looking for, you know, an 80 watt mod, something that was a little bit more unique, something different than a lot of the other boxes on the market, I'd say it's a pretty good price considering what it is. Um, I wouldn't pay that for just any 80 watt device. I wouldn't. But considering the quality, the fit, the finish of it, you know, the metal body, anodized aluminum, um, the styling of it, the, just how skinny it is. Yeah, I'd say that for the right person that really love the look of this device, I'd say it's a good price. Yeah. Based upon the aesthetic, based upon the form factor, not necessarily the power. There are 80 watt devices that you can get for much less than $90. But for what it is, for the quality, the fit, the finish, metal buttons, metal top, metal bottom, anodized aluminum body, the feel of it in the hand, the sizing of it, I'd pay 90 for it. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would. It's nice, it's really nice. Anyway guys, till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, Vape on Vapors.